Hello friends, welcome to yet another video. In this video, we are going to talk about a testimonial plugin known as Strong Testimonial. So I have already installed this plugin, Strong Testimonials. Um, they've they've really got a very good plugin for testimonials. Okay, so once you install this, on the right hand side you can see a testimonial tab which comes up. Now there are a lot of options in this testimonial. Number one is all testimonials. If you click here you'll be able to see all the testimonials that you have added so here i've added uh, two testimonials already if you want to add new you can simply click on add new testimonial and uh, let me just uh, type in something divya bharti and uh, okay this is a very nice website make purchases of accessories okay excuse me if my english is not proper i'm just uh, trying to fill up some dummy content okay next uh, we can see there's something called as client details okay and uh, here you can add the full name of the user uh, email address if you want to i generally prefer not to add that company name i just use this company name company website i'll use this website uh no follow you will just keep it default okay star rating you can give some star rating as well you can also add some category to this uh, testimonial so website uh, i'll just add uh, the category website here and uh, in the attribute you can add the order okay so this order is very helpful in case you have got multiple thousands and thousands of testimonials and you want to decide which one should come on the top and uh, you know you can decide it on the basis of this order okay zero being uh, you can it will come on the top if you want to put it above zero you can have minus one negative values also and you can have a one so that it will come at the last so this is this is a good feature if you want to use it anytime you can do that so here if we see automatically pull in and display reviews as customer on the external platform uh, so if you upgrade to pro you get uh, that feature as well automatically pull in and display new reviews as your customer leave their feedback on the external platform so basically they help you to pull out review from facebook google yelp zomato and what so so for that you will have to upgrade if you just go to the upgrade pricing we can look at the pricing uh, simultaneously okay so we just uh, hit the publish button here by the time we go through the pricing so business uh, use in five sites $69 one year of updates one year of priority support and for one site is $29 for $29 it's not a bad deal if you don't subscribe to the updates uh, you know that's uh, okay but at least in $29 you get a uh, you can pull all the reviews from all the platforms onto your site which is amazing rather than doing it manually okay this is done i have published uh, this testimonial now you are free to use these testimonials anyhow you want so there is something called as views here uh, so you can create views based on you know whatever logic you want to put for example uh i i have one view which is a slideshow which we have used in our home page uh, landing page also here we created a home page complete home page using uh, element of free version and here we have used uh, this uh, strong testimonial slider if you want to check out this video the uh, you can get the link on the i you can just click on the top we have put it in the description as well so if you are looking forward to create a home page for free uh, with the element or free version you can definitely do that using that video great uh, so views i'll show you what are different types of views which can be enabled so <laughs> there are uh, four types of views which you can have one is display so your testimonials will be displayed one after the another slideshow your testimonials will come as a slideshow as you can see them here okay it comes in a form of a slideshow next uh, uh, view is form form is uh, basically you will have to um, 
upgrade to a pro version okay uh, filter and display testimonials based on the ratings uh, predefined condition so form is where the user will filter out the ratings and based on that you will be able to see that single template again uh, this is uh, display testimonial based on the ratings and all so these two require you to have the pro version whereas the display and the slideshow you can use it for free so let me first uh, create a display one so one or more uh, testimonials uh, you can select specific testimonials or you can select uh, all testimonials so all categories oldest first newest first you can decide that quantity how many testimonials uh, do you want you can based keep it based on the count or you can keep all testimonials <coughs> next is uh, what fields do you want to display the title featured image so we missed on the featured image but you can add a featured image also we'll just do that after we set this up the categorization is here then we have got the pagination read more link is there where do you want the image position what kind of theme do you want so that can be set so i'll keep image on the right modern bold you can select uh, different types of options uh, which are there uh, normal you want it to be the layout what kind of layout do you want do you want to be so you can select different layout since it's a display i think uh, that is not allowing in the modern one in default let me see if it allows no it's not allowing it uh, layout is single column uh, that's why maybe it's not allowing that okay background you can select the background single color gradient you want a single color background gradient color you can select that if you want a preset you can select a preset as well you can select whatever color you want font inherent from the theme this is the best way to do it okay this setting is done and now simply what i can do is i can click on save changes okay now this short code is there i'll just clip uh, copy it to clipboard i'll maybe add a new page here i'll just uh, copy paste uh, the short code here and i'll click on preview preview in a new tab and here we have got the testimonials one below the other okay so you can embed it anywhere in whatever pages you want if you want them to be like uh, in a slideshow manner we can just select slideshow here we can save this thing we can again preview it in a new tab and here they come as a slideshow now here you can see there are no navigation and all but you can add navigation as well so you can just uh, scroll down here like uh, transition continuous sliding start automatically controls you can select the controls that you want okay and we can just do a preview and uh, this is how the controls are there so you can have controls in the side at the bottom you can decide that okay we can uh, simply add the images uh, to these uh, testimonials and see how they look so okay so we'll just go to testimonials so we've got three testimonials we'll just add images to each of them set featured image just select uh, one of these options okay we'll add it to a couple of more
okay so we'll just select set featured image and one more here Okay, now let's preview this page again. Okay, so we've got the testimonial on the right hand side. If you want, you can do it on the left side as well. So that's something which can be done. Okay, so that's it uh, from my end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to the channel if you like our content and thanks for your time. See you guys.